All right, so before we get into the demo, I wanted to go ahead and announce the winner of the wax that I wanted to give away to you guys. And I found a new randomizer that has made it a lot easier for me. So go ahead and email me at oldmomnewtricks at gmail.com with your address and I will get your wax out to you. And the winner is Camille Brown. Congratulations. I hope you guys enjoy the demo. Hey guys, okay, so today I have the new and trendy bubble spinner from Lush. Honestly, I really wasn't going to get this, but then I was ordering something else or a couple other things from the kitchen, and then I thought, you know what, my son would probably really like this. So I got two. I got one for him, and I got one for us. So, um... What happened was we already went ahead and did his and it actually worked pretty well. So I'm a little bit impressed. So what I'm hoping today is that um, I'll be able to do this one as good for you guys as the one that we did together, the one he and I did together, um, as good as that one. So I guess we'll see. This part here looks like it's been activated a little bit almost or just... Eh, I don't know. It just doesn't look as good as these two parts. So hopefully it'll stay intact and I'll be able to do it with one hand on the bubble bar and one hand on my camera. So we'll see. So let me go ahead and um, get set up and I'll be right back. Okay, now let me go ahead and tell you guys what I'm going to do. Um, when we used this the other day, we made the mistake of using the whole thing or at least my son wanted to use the whole thing and I knew that that was not going to be a very good idea but I think probably what is smart on Lush's part is they are you know marketing to these kids even though this is quote unquote reusable they're not going to want to quit spinning this thing and that's what happened with me the other day um you know he didn't really want to put it down and we ended up with a ridiculous amount of bubbles that we just when, even when he got out of the tub, I couldn't get down my drain. They were up here on the shelves. They went past my windowsill. It was insane because I left him alone and he ran the jets longer than he should have. And you can get, if you don't have jets, you can get two to three baths out of this easy. Now, I could probably get three, four, even five baths out of this easy. It's really dense. It's really hard. So it just a little bit goes a long way. Let me warn you. So anyway, I'm not going to use the whole thing, which is kind of my long story long. <laughs> um, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm not going to use the whole thing. So anyway, um, let me get my water turned on and we'll get started. Okay, I really, really hope this works because the last one worked really well. What I realized, though, so just trying it out the other day, you have to get your water pressure up really high. So the ones I've seen demoed that maybe didn't get a good spin on them, maybe the water pressure wasn't high enough, or maybe if you just don't have high enough water pressure, maybe it won't spin. But hopefully, if you have high enough water pressure and you get it in that sweet spot, you'll get a good spin from it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hot. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, burn my hand off there. Okay. Now. See, the higher water pressure, you're going to have a better spin. And looks like if I was holding it down a little further from the drain, that's crazy. Oh my God. I can't be in my camera left. That's awesome, though. That's pretty cool though, really. I mean, I have to say that's pretty cool. So look at y'all, look. This isn't the best camera work, but so. This 
is how much I have left. That's a huge amount. Now, you might try just a little bit longer. Just to keep showing you for the demo purposes. But that is an insane amount of bubbles already. And for me, I really don't need any more than that. Now, I did tell you guys that um, this smells like, to me, it smells like a lemon sweet tart or a pixie stick, but it is very, very heavy on the lemon. It almost smells like cleaner, but it doesn't because it's sweet enough to where it still smells like um, candy. It still smells like a sweet tart. So let me um, let me kind of stand up and I'll show you guys what kind of bubbles we have. Okay, so this is how many we have now, and I can tell you that obviously my water isn't even up to my jets, but the water is so soapy that if I just fill my water up some more and I turn on my jets, it's gonna go all the way to the top. So that's what I'm gonna do because I think I've demonstrated the bubble bar enough to where you can get the picture. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. Lots of big fluffy bubbles. Okay, and the water color is, we'll look at it again in a minute. Um, kind of, Purplish pink, but definitely pink. So that's cool. It's still a little warm. I think this is actually um, it's a good scent for children. I mean, I'm assuming that it's mostly going to be children wanting to use this one, but um, I do like the scent. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute after the tub fills up. All right, so I put some more water in the tub and I'm trying to be strategic this time so my tub doesn't overflow with bubbles. So I only filled it up to where the water is just past the jets because I want to show you guys how much bubble capability this bubble bar has and I've shown you how much I have left. It is well over half of this bubble bar left. So let's turn the jets on and see what we have. This is not going to take long. You can already tell. It smells really good in here. It's a really tart lemon scent, but it is sweet at the same time. It smells like that sweet, powdery candy smell. So I am just right now at a minute. I've turned them on. Okay, so let's check out and see what they look like close up. All right, so close up, this is how many we have. And you can almost just pick these ones off the top, almost pick them up like a ball. Come here. That's how stiff they are, like a, the peak of a, a meringue. That's pretty cool, like on a dessert. So that's why they take so long to go down your drain when you make a mound of them over your tub that thick. And they are, they're even with my bench seat back there. 
And so that's how much we have left of the bubble bar. And this is how many bubbles we've got. <laughs> and it definitely goes past my elbow. And that's just one minute with the jets. So if you use less than half of your bubble bar, you can at least get three baths if you don't have jets and agitate your water. You'll have plenty of bubbles. Just don't let your kid use the whole thing the first time and you'll be able to get at least three uses out of it. All right, so I think that's really it for this demo. There are just a couple other things that I want to tell you. Um, if you do let your kid or a small child, or even if you're in there with your small child, and you take this bubble bar in there with you, this little piece does come off, and there's this other little piece on this side that will come off too. So just go ahead and be aware of that, um, to go ahead and just dig those out and be real careful with those. The other thing is, um, and I wouldn't have known this for this demo if I hadn't, used another one of these previously, do definitely go ahead and start your tub out um, empty. So that's a really good idea. The other thing is, for those of you who are interested, I did send Lush an email regarding my ectoplasm jelly bombs and they did get back to me. And unlike Lush, they took days to get back to me, days and days. And they actually said that they were, that was because they were experiencing a very high volume of emails right now. And I thought that very interesting because I imagine that's because they're getting more than their share of complaints lately because of the jelly bombs. But anyway, they said that they would be happy to replace um, the jelly bombs that I was not pleased with, with a couple of seasonal items of my choosing, and that did not surprise me at all because they do have excellent customer service. So, for those of you guys who are wondering, that is what's going on with that. So, um, yeah, I think you're kind of updated, and I hope you enjoyed this demo. So, I give the fidget spinner a thumbs up. I think it's really, really cool. I like the way it performed, and it smells really good, and it's, I think it's a great value. I think it's pretty cool. And um, unfortunately, the jelly bombs just weren't doing it for me. And I don't think they're doing it for a lot of people. But I think some people have, um, have enjoyed them a little bit. So anyway, um, I did order, actually, before I got the response email, I did order a good bit of the seasonal items from the first day right when they launched on the UK website. So look for some more Lush from this channel. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.